Hello there guys and welcome to another review and today we'll be taking a look something a little different this is the Playmates Toys Godzilla X Kong the new Empire Godzilla with heat ray so before we take a look at the main man himself let's take a first look at the packaging so this of course is the box for the new Godzilla X Kong figures We've got a nice image here of Kong and Godzilla on the front there it says here Godzilla with heat ray. It says 4 plus, the Toho logo, legendary, playmates, and this little logo here. So of course it's the plastic where he is kept. Got the logo here, Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. Up here, got the Monsterverse. And on the back here, got a very nice image of Godzilla. Got the it says up here. Godzilla and Kong return in an all-new adventure, pitting the almighty Kong and the fearsome Godzilla against a colossal, undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence and our own. It says here, it says here Godzilla with heat ray. It has a little description here. Harness the awesome power of Godzilla's thunderous roar and devastating tail swipe as the king of the monsters battles other titans to maintain his rule. Is here fully articulated and posable. We also have a list of other figures in the series. So we have Godzilla Evolved, Kong with Beast Glove, Suko and Titanus Doug, Scar King and Shimo. So a very, very, very nice packaging. And here we have the main man himself, Godzilla. So this is actually, I believe, a repaint of the Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates figure. I do not own that one, so it's nice to actually have this one instead. So, let's take a closer look at this figure. So, I think he's been really, really nicely picked out. Have a nice head sculpt here. We can open his mouth as well. So, got uh, his pink tongue there, you've got his teeth sculpted in there. So nice work here on the head, you can see also the gills and the nice scales. Got his arms, now the fingers actually have have had painted claws. Something that Mattel doesn't really do with their theropods, but it's nice that Playmates actually takes the time to add, add that. It just adds a bit more detail to the figure himself. Some nice detail on his arms. Nice work as well on the body as well. Got the legs here. His, his feet as well. You can see they've been nicely picked out and nicely painted as well. It's a nice grey colour. His tail as well, some nice detail with all the spikes going down. There's a curve to it as well. See on the other side here as well. So he looks very, very cool. Love the detail as well on his spines. Really nicely painted as well. As you see, he is articulated. So you can open and close his mouth. His arms can move forward and back. His legs as well are articulate, so you can move them forward and back. He's also got some ankle uh, rotation as well, which I think is really, really cool. They didn't have to add that, but again, it adds a new level of playability as well. And he also has tail articulation. Now, the tail is a separate piece that you do have to put in yourself. I would recommend using the hot water method or a hairdryer just to loosen up that ball joint, because trying to get it in, especially with these spikes, it does actually hurt. I can attest to that, believe me. So, as I say, if you've got small children that want to, you know, attach this, it just needs adult supervision if they're quite young. But if you're an adult, hot water method or the hairdryer method. Really, really effective to use. So, he does actually come with a few accessories. One bit being this little piece here. So this opens up to reveal battle damage from maybe another Titan and it is made of like a soft rubbery plastic and there are two little joints on there that if you just slot it in fits on there wonderfully and you can't really actually see the damage underneath unless you pull it but just be careful with um, when you take it off because you don't want to lose it as well and of course we also have his iconic breath weapon which is done in this nice uh, clear blue plastic this notch here actually attaches there you can't really see there's a little space up at the top of Godzilla's head right in here 
But if you just pop that in there, and there looks like he's using his breath weapon to defeat his enemies, his atomic breath. And I think that looks really, really cool. I think uh, this Godzilla figure is really, really nice. Uh, it's awesome to you know that kids, especially here in the UK, can actually have Godzilla figures as well. So I think it's really, really I mean, actually they're selling quite well um, where I work. So um, that's really, really uh, cool. Again, of course, this is a repaint of the one from Godzilla vs. Kong. So if you already own this, you probably won't need to. But if you do want to pick this up, you can at any of your local toy stores or even online as well. So uh, yeah, I think it's a really, really cool figure. Uh, he's really, really awesome, really, really fun to, to pose around with. And uh, yeah, I, I look forward to seeing what other figures uh, that they release once the film comes out, because March 29th, ooh, in fact, uh, four weeks today, exact. So um, very, very excited for the movie. I'm going in IMAX. I wonder though, should I pick up the Godzilla mask? Hmm. <laughs> that would be fun for for everyone else to see me in a Godzilla mask at the at the cinema. <laughs> but still, this is a very very awesome figure. I highly recommend um, this Playmates toy. I think it's really really good. Of course, it's not going to be as accurate as the actual articulated like figure from like a I think it's Higher Toys or um, SH Monster Arts. But I think still, really, really nice for kids, and oh, nice for adults and collectors. So yeah, definitely pick it up if you guys have the chance. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this review of the Godzilla X Kong, the New Empire Godzilla figure. Um, I do actually have a few other ones um, as well, so if you guys want to see more of these Godzilla X Kong reviews, do let me know. And yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I hope to see you all in the next video. So please take care guys, have a great day. Bye!